impossible it happens all the time. Just have to believe it can. One of the important things when you delve into a show like this is how do you create a world that doesn't exist? This planet is unlike any we have ever mapped. Wherever we are, I, it's a Goldilocks planet. Earth-like atmosphere, it's, it's like winning the lottery. Earliest discussions for Lost in Space was that it should be otherworldly, with taking all of the beauty and wonder that we have here on Earth and exaggerating it even more. We naturally have to shoot on Earth, so it's how do we augment that in a way that takes the audience outside of Earth. It's unbelievable what these people have done. The planet is beautiful. It creates a false sense of security for the Robinson family, and then they start to realize how hostile the place really is. Go! The Jupiter is the Robinson ship, but what's cool is that this is also meant to be their home. Been a while. Feed off the console. It's also a character in the show. When you walk around this ship, you know, it has a feeling, it has a vibe of authenticity. Walking into the Jupiter 2 for the first time, it was a moment of, is this real? Everything is so realistic and it is so out there that I, I was just in awe. Everyone hold tight. The VFX on the show are crazy. We have stuff that's full of CG. That means there's alien life forms. That means there are alien landscapes. And there's bigger stuff where it's like, okay, we have a very small set piece, but everything outside of that set piece is an extension. And now we're in an environment that is fully CG. The robot is huge, and it's terrifying, but it's also a beautiful piece of machinery. And I love to just watch how it moves. The more I looked at him, the more I thought, this could be my best friend. <laughs> This is a particularly big show. There's a lot to take in. The key elements were that it should be a very fresh, modern, contemporary look and stand out as something very special. Yeah.